We might finally be getting a NASCAR Cup Series driver headed down to Australia for an Australian Supercars race. Welcome back to Break Hard, I'm Matt. Yeah, finally, we might be getting a NASCAR Cup Series driver headed down to Australia to run a supercars race. Previously, it's just been supercar drivers coming over to the United States to run NASCAR races. Obviously, you have the OG Marcus Ambrose, when he came over, became a NASCAR driver, went back, become a supercars driver again. Shane Van Gisbergen, Brody Kostecki, Will Brown, and Cam Waters have all done it within the last two years, and it's been a really fun project to see all those guys come over and race against the best that NASCAR have, and those guys have been incredibly quick when they've gotten into the Gen 7 NASCAR Cup Series car. But now it looks like Kyle Busch might actually get the chance to go down to Australia and run an Australian Supercar Series race at the end of the season for the Adelaide 500. I'm feeling Australian today. I got my lockdown brand shirt on. I went and had some Vegemite at lunch. I'm feeling Australian today because I'm excited about this opportunity. So Speed Cafe posted an article and it kind of talks about the rumors about Kyle Busch going down to run this race. And those rumors have been around for a little while because it seemed like he might go down and run the race with Erebus, which would have been fine, right? They won the championship last year. They have had a strong relationship with Richard Childress Racing, but that relationship kind of fell apart this year when Brody Kostecki wasn't allowed to come over and run that Mobile X Boosted Mobile here in the States, uh, number 33 car for Richard Childress Racing. Instead, Will Brown came over with his AAA engineering engineer, and now it looks like there is a relationship between RCR and Triple Eight, which actually works out really well for Kyle Busch but it appears that he might be able to do the Adelaide 500 at the end of the year. It's a week after the NASCAR Cup Series Championship finale at Phoenix, so he can just hop on a plane with his family, go down and get accustomed to life upside down in Australia, get used to the racetrack, hopefully, maybe, it is a street circuit after all, and he could likely be pretty competitive in it. I see a lot of people in the comments being like, he doesn't stand a chance to finish top 15. People in my, in my TikTok comments as well are like, why are we getting him? We want Kyle Larson. Well, Sorry, you're not getting Kyle Larson. It's just not happening. But getting Kyle Busch is still a big win. I know a lot of people are like, oh, he's going to get banned immediately because he, all he does is run into people. He doesn't know track limits. Does he even know how to turn right? All right, so you guys got stereotypes down there in Australia. Yeah, we're not going to get into those. But for the most part, Kyle Busch is a great get. I mean, Kyle Busch is a formidable talent. One of the best raw talents that you've ever seen in the NASCAR Cup Series and a guy that can definitely be competitive in that car. The guy's competitive in every car he's ever gotten into. No reason to think he can't be competitive in this as well. And I'm excited to see what he can do when he goes down there. Top 15 should be the goal, at least. Top 10, yeah, great. Obviously, it was a bit of a learning curve. It's on a street course, and he has exactly, well, one start on a street course. He'll have two by the time if they actually run this uh, when, he, you know, November rolls around because he's going to get another shot at the Chicago street race in a few weeks' time on 4th of July weekend here in the United States. But for Kyle Busch, that's an amazing opportunity, and it sounds like he might get a wild card entry with Triple Eight Engineering, which is great for him because it's like the Hendrick Motorsports of the Australian Supercar Series, uh, where Erebus is like the RCR. So if you have your options, you're going to pick the Hendrick Motorsports version over the RCR version every single time. The problem is, and as Speed Cafe noted in their article, Triple Eight's already used up their wild card entry for the year, and according to them, Supercars says that they have not received a submission for a wild card entry for the Adelaide 500. Now, could they make a you know an exception and allow Triple Eight to run Kyle Busch in that race? Sure, they absolutely could. Will they? I don't know, because I feel like it might have the same sort of uproar over here if like NASCAR allowed Hendrick Motorsports to run a fifth car just because they wanted to run a fifth car. People aren't going to be happy about that. Denny Hamlin's going to be firing off tweets left and right. I don't know what the Denny Hamlin version, uh, Australian version is, but I'm sure they would also be firing off tweets left and right. Probably the people that own Airbus and are going to go cry on TV any chance that they can get that whole drama. You guys got to figure that out because it's all over the place. I made a video trying to lay out how and what things are going on over there. Sounds like a disaster. So, yeah, just we'll stay away from that. But for for Kyle, it would be great. And I know people are like, oh, all he does is run into people. He's going to cut the course. He's not going to do any. He, he knows track limits. It's OK. He can figure out track limits. That's not going to be an issue whatsoever. He also doesn't run into people. Kyle Busch is one of the cleanest race car drivers out there. Unfortunately, people just only ever remember like the Ron Hornaday incident. Um, you know, maybe when he turned uh, Kyle or Kevin Harvick on pit road at Darlington and, you know, a few others. But typically, Kyle doesn't just run into people to run into people. He's not Ross Chastain. He's only going to retaliate if something's been done to him for the most part. So I'm not worried about that whatsoever. He's had a really rough, you know, three or four weeks here. So 
maybe you don't want him to get into a car because he might total it at this point. But the guy is a great race car driver. Don't get me wrong. So I hope that he is able to go down and run this race because it would be really fun. We've seen the reciprocity from, you know, supercars. Now NASCAR needs to send one of their drivers down. And sending Kyle Busch down is a great representative for the sport. Great representative for General Motors as well. He can go down and run the Chevy Camaro and supercars. But he should be competitive. I'm not concerned about that aspect of it at all. He'll definitely be more competitive than Alexander Rossi and James Hinchcliffe when they went down to try to run the Bathurst 1000. But, you know, they're not stock car guys. So not really concerned about what Kyle can do because I know that he's going to have speed. Um, is he going to be as quick as these guys or as quick as SVG was when he came over into Chicago? Probably not, not right off the bat. SVG took, you know, advantage of his skill set and hats off to him. I think SVG is one of the best things that happened to NASCAR in a long time. The guy absolutely gets it. He should be here. Fans should want him to be here because he's been great for the sport so far. So before all the Australians and New Zealanders come at me, big fan over here. So you can, you can all relax right now. I know, well, I don't know. Do they have weapons? in Australia and New Zealand? I think you can, but there's like a lot of rules around it. It's a, two countries built on just having governments and rules and everything that goes into that. They don't like they don't like having fun sometimes. I mean, Robbie Gordon did two donuts and they wanted to pull his license, ban him from the country and take away his professional racing license if they could, which is just a little excessive. But if Kyle Busch goes down there, he'll be totally fine. Well, he did go to Mexico last year and got in a little bit of trouble. So I, I say he's going to be fine. He'll be fine. I have no concerns about that. So hopefully this does happen. I would like to see him run the Adelaide 500. Turn eight might catch him out if he doesn't hit his marks right. But for the most part, he should get acclimated with the course pretty easily, pretty well. Um, it'll be fun to see if it actually happens. And if he does go down there, maybe, you know, next year we can send more of the NASCAR Cup Series guys down there because Ford obviously has guys on the Cup side they can send down along with Chevy. And like I said, a nice reciprocity between the two series. And maybe they can do like an exhibition race sometime in the winter, your guys' summer down there, until hemispheres work, where they can have, you know, uh, like an exhibition all-star race between supercar guys and NASCAR guys. I think that'd be a fun time. Kyle Larson can go down there, run some dirt races while he's there, and it would be a grand old time for everybody involved. So let me know in the comments what you think about the potential of Kyle Busch going down to run the Adelaide 500. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.